everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a very special kind of unboxing video. Uh, in this dirty, rusty old toolbox is the last of my childhood G.I. Joe collection. Uh, I don't know what happened to the rest of it. It may have been thrown out. Uh, it may have been left behind when my parents moved. I really don't know. But this, whatever is in here, is all that still exists, and I haven't seen it for a very long time. Time. This was um, in storage, uh, my brother's storage unit, um, and he finally dug it out for me and gave it to me. I've been asking him to find this uh, for quite some time. So finally he got it to me and I want to open this uh, for you guys so we can see what's left of Hooded Cobra Commander 788's Childhood G.I. Joe. As far as I can remember, there's nothing in here but a bunch of spare parts. I don't think there are any full, complete action figures in there. I'm pretty sure it's just spare parts. I haven't looked in there for decades, but I think that's what it is. Um, Toward the end of our G.I. Joe collecting, uh, we were doing a lot of customizing. Uh, in fact, that's primarily what we were doing. Uh, in fact, that's why it has this writing here on the top. Uh, it says, Wolverines Special Operations Team, keep out with two exclamation points because we mean business. Um, so this is what we used to call our own team that we created. Uh, we called them the Wolverines, and that was based on uh, or inspired by the movie uh, Red Dawn. Uh, and so, you know, we had our own characters. We wrote our own file cards. We would draw our own comic books. We had our own storyline going. It was a lot of fun. In fact, that was kind of the last way that we were still having fun with G.I. Joe toys. Uh, since by that time, G.I. Joe figures themselves had gotten quite weird. There's definitely something in there, so let's crack it open and see what we got. And let's see, here we go. This is uh, this is very kind of emotional for me here. I haven't seen this stuff in a long time. Uh, there's a lot of rust, uh, certainly. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like mostly figure parts. Uh, so I'm going to dig in here. I want to see what's here and uh, if you'll bear with me, uh, this hopefully this won't be too boring, but uh, I want to go through here and see what's here. I, I haven't seen this stuff and so I don't really know. I moved the camera up a little higher so hopefully we can see a little bit better. So let's see what we got in here. I can see right away we have part of Zartan's Chameleon Swamp Skier. Um, let's see, what else we got? Oh, look at this. Uh, it's a it's an action figure. It's not GI Joe. This is um, Battlestar Galactica. I am pretty sure. Missing an arm, uh, but uh, there you go. Uh, first action figure, non Joe figure. Uh, there's probably some non Joe stuff. On, I see one non Joe thing right now. Uh, this is uh, Star Wars. Um, it is a bounty hunter. The name of the bounty hunter is escaping my mind right now. It uh, starts with a D, I think. Um, Dengar, right? I don't know. Uh, I think that's right. Anyway, so uh, another figure, Nanjo. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we got oh, an accessory that is Sci-Fi's laser rifle. Let's, say, let's stick to accessories up here. Uh, that is Tiger Force Dusty's back. Uh, all right, lots of spare parts here. Uh, let's see, Lady J's legs. Uh, a leg that I think belongs to, that's gotta be version two of rock and roll. Now that's interesting, that's interesting. Hold on a second. Um, now if that part, now um, version two of rock and roll, there's more of them. Uh, was uh, the last G.I. Joe action figure that I got. And I'm actually surprised to see parts of him in here. Uh, those aren't his arms. Whose arms are those? Um, I don't know whose arms these are, but those aren't his arms. Um, I did not remember doing any customizing with version 2 of Rock and Roll. Uh, I don't remember that at all. Um, but apparently I did, because here's half of him. Uh, and I don't know where the, uh, the other half is. Well, here's a leg. Maybe there's more of them in there, so let's see. Uh, so uh, we've got, yeah, my last ever G.I. Joe action figure right there. That's the last one that I got. And let's see, we have Ripcord, half of Ripcord with a painted head. We did a lot of painting, uh, liberal use of modeling paint. This, speaking of which, this is 
uh, the accessory pack version of Beachhead's backpack. And, and you can see that I painted it black. Uh, the original color was a really hideous kind of cream color that I hated. So, you know, if they give us an ugly color, we'll just paint it black. So that's what we did. Uh, what else we got? We got um, part of the uh, mountain howitzer, half of the cannon there, with the cannon cap, it looks like. I don't want to break it. What else? Uh, what's, uh, let's see, more, um, let's see, okay. Uh, so this is Tunnel Rat's arms and chest and the head of a guy that I, I'm not placing his name, uh, but uh, head of a different guy and uh, Tunnel Rat's chest and arms. Uh, now we were, uh, I know all of us, my, me, my brother, and our friends were big fans of Tunnel Rat. Um, he was kind of a, a later Joe that had a more realistic military look. So we were really happy to uh, get a figure like Tunnel Rat and we used the parts a lot uh, on different guys. These legs go to Flint. Uh, parts with camouflage, very valuable. You know, we really sought those out. If it had camouflage, we wanted that and we wanted to use that. Um, there is um, Firefly's backpack, still with the cover on it. Neat. Accessory up there. Let's see how part of Tiger Force Duke's leg. I knew I had this figure. I knew I had Tiger Force Duke. Um, and looks like broken or just doesn't have the screw. Uh, Airtight's leg. And now this is fun. Um, this um, is sci-fi, and uh, of course he's neon green, and we didn't like that too much, so we just painted him a darker color green. Uh, I'll bet there are more parts like this. Let's see what else we got. Let's grab a handful and kind of pile it up here. Uh, we have Roadblock uh, with... I don't think these are G.I. Joe arms. I think these may be Lannard core, uh, the core. Uh, arms. We would get um, the core figures uh, from time to time and just mainly for parts. Uh, sometimes their parts worked with G.I. Joe parts, but sometimes they didn't. So you never know. You could get lucky and use the parts. Um, and this is um, a painted, looks like, breaker chest. I wonder if this is the chest of my first ever G.I. Joe action figure. Breaker was my first. And that may be his chest right there, um, which I used for a different purpose. Uh, let's see, repeater's legs, um, Hawk version 2 legs, and um, okay, now look, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is a Toxo Viper. Uh, he's purple. Uh, we didn't care for any purple action figures, so we just painted him green. How about that? So you give us a purple figure, we're going to paint him green. Um, the paint's pr mostly worn right now, uh, been in there for a long time, but that's what we did. Lots of customizing like that. This is a non-Joe part. There's a missile for the Wolverine. Uh, there is um, scrap iron missile. Uh, let's see, that is a non-Joe arm. Um, let's see, Doc's legs. Um, Falcon's legs. Uh, let's see. C-3PO leg. All right, a little bit of Star Wars in there. Um, a painted arm. I'm not sure who the arm came from. Uh, an arm from Tiger Force Roadblock. Part of Beachhead and uh, an accessory pack flashlight for a wetsuit. Okay, let's keep digging. Let's keep digging. Let's see. Let's see. This is exciting. This is my stuff. This is, these are my old toys here. This is... This is, it's not much, is it? It really, I hope this isn't anticlimactic, but I mean, this is what we used to do. This is, um, this is, it's actually, this is not only the rem remnants of G.I. Joe, but this is the last of Wolverines, our, our own uh, special operations team that we created. So this is, it's, this is some memories for me. Um, let's see, airtight leg, um, outback, outback leg, um, half of beachhead. Beachhead, that's an, that was another valuable figure. We got lots of Beachhead because we really liked uh, just the kind of military look of that figure. Now this, this is special. I recognize this. You might not think that I do, but I do. Um, it's uh, it's kind of chewed up here, but this is, we made um, characters that were based on ourselves. 
Um, and this was the figure for the character that was based on my brother, Eric. Um, I remember this because I know specifically that we used Dial Tone's head and we painted the beret. So uh, this is um, half of the figure that my brother's character was, uh, or the figure that we made for my brother's character. I do not remember what we called these characters, what their code names were, don't remember that at all. But there you go, that's, that's my brother right there in plastic. And it uh, looks like a painted uh, falcon uh, chest and back and um, leather neck arms. Those are leather neck arms. Okay, what else we got? We got a broken crotch from uh, Zap. We got um, another broken crotch. I don't care about the broken crotches. That is a non-Joe head. Uh, that's a Wild Bill leg. Another Duke, uh, Tiger Force Duke leg. There's a little more of Tiger Force Roadblock. There is a painted mask from Fast Draw. And I don't remember ever having Fast Draw, so I don't know how I ended up with this one. But uh, there you go. All right, what else? How we, how we got? We got some more in there. So hopefully this video isn't too long and boring, but for me, this is kind of special. Um, Gung Ho Legs. Gung Ho is one of my favorite figures from 83. I love that guy. Um, let's see. Um, uh, la, 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 muskrat, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is another thing we did. Okay, yeah. This looks like a ratty piece of cloth, but this uh, you can see that some tiger stripe camouflage is uh, drawn on it. And we used to make little tunics uh, out of these, and we put them on the figure, and we, you know, put rubber bands on them to hold them on, and so they'd have like little camouflage tunics. So we uh, used to make those. We must have made a hundred of those, um, a wheel for something. Um, let's, that's a non-Joe accessory. Um, let's see, that's a non-Joe part. Uh, that is um, Hardball's backpack uh, and Hardball's arm, and. Uh, Snake Eyes, um, 1983 Snake Eyes arm. I don't know why I put that in there. I'm just putting accessories in there right now. Couple other um, waist pieces. One of them broken. Outbacks is broken. A broken Cobra officer waist piece. Uh, this looks like um, Gung Ho in the dress blues, but it looks like we painted it for some reason. Uh, let's see. That is Hit and Runs. Um, duffel bag, but it's missing the the uh, grapple. Um, and a figure stand. I can always use more figure stands. Always running out of figure stands. All right, next handful. Let's see what we got. Let's see, airtight's head. Uh, let's see, zaps legs. Now I, my brother doesn't remember specifically, but I thought that Zap was uh, Eric's first G.I. Joe figure. I know Breaker was mine, and I thought Zap was his, but uh, he, he's not so sure about that. He doesn't remember specifically. Let's see. Um, so, um, hardball's legs. It'd be nice if, there, if Hardball's waist piece is in here, because if Hardball's waist piece was in here, then I could actually complete the figure. I have the top half of the figure, I just don't have the bottom half. So if I could complete a Hardball with these parts, that would be pretty sweet. Uh, Wild Bill leg, Storm Shadow leg, pretty yellow. Uh, these are not Joe legs. Those aren't Joe's. Uh, another piece of uh, the um, Chameleon Swamp Skier. Dusty legs, uh, muskrat legs. Oh, hey, check this out. Oh, check this out. This is the head of Darth Vader. Uh, this is really interesting. I guess this would have been from my original Darth Vader uh, action figure, which I would have had from the 1970s. That would have predated G.I. Joe. Don't know what happened to the rest of the figure, but there is his head. <laughs> interesting. Um, let's see, it's um, a Lego. Um, let's see, cross country. Uh, let's see, that's the Stinger driver's arm. And uh, a part of uh, sci-fi. All right, more, more, I want more. Let's see, We're getting a pretty good pile here. Now this is interesting. We've got Snake Eyes' chest, uh, some arms that may be gung-hos, and then a, a Cobra soldier's head. 
interesting. Uh, let's see. We have Tiger Force Roadblocks Backpack. Unfortunately, one of the pegs is broken. That's too bad. Oh, the handles are broken too. That's pretty broken. Up. That's too bad. Um, there's um, Falcon's Backpack without the antenna. Uh, let's see. There's another piece from um, Rock and Roll version 2. And it uh, looks like the... Um, the little pegs right there are snapped off. That's what you put the, the rifle on. Um, and I may have actually done that on purpose. I, I could see myself doing that. Uh, if I didn't like those pegs and, you know, it wasn't working for my customization purposes, I, I might have just sheared them off. Uh, so I don't know. I don't, don't remember that. So anyway, more of that figure. My last G.I. Joe. Um, and let's see, a couple back pieces. Charb Royal. Another part of Storm Shadow and another part of uh, uh, Sci-Fi. Uh, let's see, a broken um, Tunnel Rat leg. Uh, let's see, another waist piece. Uh, Non-Joe head, not a Joe head, and uh, uh, an Outback part, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that is not a Joe part either. I don't think so. Uh, accessory pack, accessories, helmet and backpack. Okay, more, 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 more. Okay, what is he, even is this thing? What is this? Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. This, is, it's not a hat. It's not a hat. This is part of a gas mask. Because at some point we picked up a, like a surplus gas mask somewhere. We used to play with that thing. Um, and that's part of it. Okay. I don't know why I kept that. And I think it's a non-Joe backpack. Uh, let's see, Wolverine Missile, Baroness Backpack, let's keep that, uh, let's see, uh, let's see, Stinger Driver, um, whose arms are these? These are, this is, uh, Monkey Wrench, I'm pretty sure, uh, let's see, Bomb, let's see, more waist pieces, these waist pieces I ha are not super exciting to me, um, here is a wheel to the, uh, claw, and ooh, I found something. I found something. Check this out. That is a Cobra Commander pistol. Yes, that's what that is. And you know what's great about this? I need this. One of my Cobra Commanders is missing his pistol. So I will, uh, this, this is great. This is awesome. So my Cobra Commander will be complete now. I don't know what that is. Um, accessory pack helmet, Toxo Viper helmet, uh, more parts of Tiger Force Roadblock. I wonder if I could assemble the whole figure. I don't know if that's here. Um, zap chest. Uh, that is a not a Joe arm, I'm pretty sure. Part of Tiger Force Dusty. Uh, part of Toxo Viper painted green. Part of Sci-Fi painted green. Uh, let's see, legs and let's see, other leg parts. And um, that's a Duke arm. That's part of Duke right there. So that's Duke. Snow Serpent, um, Toxo Viper, uh, more, more. Let's just go through all of it. Let's see what's here. Duke Legs, there you go. Uh, Nonjo, uh, Stinger Driver, pretty bad shape. Uh, I think that's the last of the Toxo Viper. Uh, Storm Shadow Arm, I could, uh, there's a Storm Shadow's waist piece. I could almost assemble a Storm Shadow with all these parts. Um, this is a uh, thing from a, a train set. That's not a joke. Uh, let's see, uh, Lady J waist. Oh, and this is um, uh, this is a modified um, leather neck rifle. Uh, took the uh, grenade launcher off. We did this quite a bit too. We really liked um, leather necks rifle, and we used it a lot. Sometimes we just use it as it was, and sometimes we would modify it like this. It's painted, and we cut a part of it off just to make it more individual. So yeah, we did that quite a bit too. Um, let's see, part of uh, Cobra Commander. Oh, <laughs> another part of Cobra Commander. This is um, you know version one of Cobra Commander, and this is version three of Cobra Commander. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's Tunnel Rat's head. Uh, Ripcord's uh, air mask. Um, part of uh, uh, Scrap Iron's accessories. Okay, okay, we are, we are almost done. I still haven't seen the um, rest of Hardball, which is unfortunate. Uh, that is 
a matchbox car. And just grabbing handfuls and piling it up here so I can look at it. Hit and run, waist piece, hardball arm. Getting closer to completing hardball. Uh, let's see, um, beachhead, dusty, uh, sci-fi, and uh, footloose helmet that we have painted. We painted it inside and out. Um, don't know why, but there you go. Uh, let's see, storm shadow chest, very badly yellowed. Uh, Cobra Commander head. Let's see what else here. Uh, Stinger driver. Um, I don't recall right offhand who that goes to. Uh, that is uh, airtight. Uh, still going, still going. It's like a piece of duct tape there. That's gross. Uh, let's see. A painted arm. That is a bare arm that we've painted totally black for some reason. Uh, let's see. Footloose. Uh, accessory pack, backpack, uh, tossed up there. That's another part of the swamp skier. Not bad. And uh, that is a non-Joe arm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see, more um, Cobra Commander sci-fi. That is a non-Joe head that we've totally paint painted black for some reason. Uh, more parts of the Stinger driver. Uh, all right, almost done. Let's see here. What else have we got? Let's just pull it out here. Uh, this is uh, another part of Gung Ho. Oops. Um, and another part of Muskrat. That's another uh, figure that we really liked. We liked Muskrat. There's another part of Muskrat. And another Duke arm with a broken thumb, unfortunately. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, hey, I see something else I can use. Uh, this is uh, an accessory for Muskrat. I have a Muskrat figure and I have his rifle. I didn't have this. Um, now all I need is his machete. Um, and then I would have the figure complete. I guess I need the file card too. Uh, machete in there? No, I don't see it. It's not in there. Oh, okay. Too bad. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I haven't finished looking through these yet. Let's see. Storm Shadow. That is, I'm pretty sure, not a Joe weapon, and it's broken. Um, let's see, that is, I'm quite sure, not a Joe weapon. Um, that is not a Joe part. Uh, there's a badly mangled Televiper head. Um, all right, what's next? What's next? Uh, let's see, almost done, almost done. Thank you all for bearing with me uh, on this little trip down memory lane. Um, and let's see, I'm just dropping things here. Um, that is a Fang uh, helicopter missile. Uh, that is Tiger Force Duke leg. Uh, there is um, Muskrat's rifle. I already have this, but that's all right. Uh, let's see, uh, that is uh, Falcons and Nanjo arms. And uh, that might be Tiger Force Duke's helmet. All right, almost done. Uh, oh, I forgot. I was trying to keep the accessories up here. Up here with the accessories. Uh, another part of the scrap irons. There's a storm shadow arm. I could almost make a storm shadow with this stuff. I think I missed. I, did, I still I didn't see his head. Tunnel rat back. Uh, Toxo viper. Cobra commander. Sci-fi. Um, is that it? It's almost it. Um, Gung ho. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, that is beachhead. Another part of the uh, swamp skier. Uh, let's see. And just some random parts here. I think that's it. Uh, and some crud. Some leaves and some disintegrated O-rings and rubber bands down there. And that's it. Wow, that really was not very much. But uh, you know what? It's it, it may not be a lot, but it's it's mine. Uh, that's my stuff. Um, it, I've, you know, being able to touch and handle this stuff uh, means a lot to me because I mean this was an important part of my childhood, and this represents um, basically the last of my GI Joe memories in tangible form. So what am I going to do with all this stuff? Um, I think I'm going to just take out a couple accessories that that I need. Uh, and the rest of it, I'm just going to put uh, back in the vault. I'm going to uh, just put it back in here and store it away. And this will just be kind of uh, a box of memories for me. Um, I'm, 
you know, I'm not going to try to sell any of the parts. They're not really worth a whole lot anyway. Um, these are mine, so I'm going to keep them. And so that's that's it. Um, I uh, I don't really know what to think. It's it was uh, special. It was really cool to see everything. Uh, it's also kind of sad that um, I, I don't have. There's, there's a lot that I don't have. It just doesn't exist anymore so that's disappointing and some of this stuff is kind of sad that it's in terrible shape um, you know I, in some ways I wish I had kept uh, the toys uh, in better condition uh, of course you know once you start customizing though you know you're looking at them more as parts than actual figures so um, you know we got some fun out of it we had a good time uh, it was like a thing that um, my brother and some other neighborhood kids did for yeah kind of a long time so we enjoyed it and so uh, yeah that was that was my little trip down memory lane thank you very much for watching uh, and I've got another uh, full uh, review video for you coming up on Sunday this one's a little bit different uh, we kinda got some different videos coming lately not not our typical thing but I hope you enjoy it thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time